This is going to be the final video in the series. I think we're going to finish up this uh, space helmet, hopefully, in this video. All right, so here's a couple of things that I've decided I want to do. I want to switch this material to this one. Select those, and that one last control L materials. And I'm going to make those blue. Okay, so we've got that going on. We're going to put on a couple of decals on here. I'm using the shrink wrap method. I'm going to select that vertex and bring my 3D cursor there. All right, Shift A, image, images as planes. And that's the decal that I want to use. It's a PNG with some transparency. I'm going to go into edit mode and scale it down. And rotate this. Just start getting it uh, sort of the way that I would want it. Just roughly, anyhow. I'd say I go with something like that. Okay, I'm going to take this and I'm going to subdivide this. I'm going to do it 10 times. Okay, come over here to the modifiers, shrink wrap, choose my helmet. I'm going to switch this to 0 0.0, 0 0.01, and switch this to target normal. Let's see how close that is. Maybe I can go closer. There we go. And I'll take this in materials. Um, maybe I'll try that. Okay, let's take this and mirror this across the helmet. So that's just there. Safe. All right. Uh, let's put something else on here. Let's grab the side there. Let's do that again. Shrink wrap. We'll use the typical NASA um, decal. I think everybody uses that one. Again, I'm going to subdivide this 10 times. Let's give that a try. Wish for crap. I'll try 0 0.001. I'm going to target the normal. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Coming to the materials. smooth okay so we'll get that guy on there I made a couple of decals uh, as well of my own and I'm gonna put them on here very something very simple let's select that just this circle here this circle surface, maybe 0 0.3 and 
Shade smooth. Okay, let's put one there. And then I will um, shift D and duplicate that over here. And then mirror it. Just something. Alright, and that's pretty much what I was thinking of. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's that. Now, I'm going to add a little bit more light to this. Okay, so here's the thing now. Um, when I render this, I'll just do that area. You'll see that I get the reflection of that light in, in the visor. I'm going to make a change to the visor anyhow. And I'm going to get rid of that. So with that light selected, I'm going to come over here to the object properties scroll down to visibility and down here I'm gonna uncheck glossy if I then look at that area I can get that light but I won't get that reflection uh, of that one in the visor I'm getting still uh, the light from the um, environment texture the HDRI and I'm gonna make a change to that I think as well so I'm gonna do that um, and I think I'm going to leave the other lights. Uh, I may want this light uh, reflection. So here's what I'm going to do as well. Okay, let's let's go back and look at this. Let's, I'm going to come over to the world and where I've got my uh, HDRI. I'm actually going to change that. And I'm going to use, I'm going to try just a Windows wallpaper. Now you have to be careful if these are uh, wallpapers you grab from just somebody. But since we're doing this just for, for personal fun, I'm going to try a couple of different things. Because I've got my background set as transparent, this isn't going to show up. I'm just going to get these kind of cool, you know, uh, reflections in here from, from this as an environment map. Okay, you can of course change the strength of, of this if you want it higher or lower. So I'll just leave it at one for now, and I'll just do a render and have a look at what what that does. Obviously, I'm going to get some some blue in there, and just something different in the visor. So let's try that. All right, so that's what that looks like. Um, might be too busy. It might be just fine. You could experiment with different ones if this is something you wanted to do. You might not like that. I'm not sure. I might get rid of that. We could try getting rid of that. Just before I do that, I want to come into the compositor. And I want to make some changes uh, to this. I'm going to take the viewer note. And I'm going to just put it up there. And then hold shift and uh, left mouse button to come through. Join those. All right, so I've got that. And I'm going to go back and put uh, the glare node on in a minute. But first, I'm going to add uh, denoise. I'm just going to do it uh, just like that. Just very simply put it in. And let's go back and put the glare on. And I'm going to do fog. And I think I'm going to leave it like that instead of high quality. I'll leave it on medium. It'll be a little bit bigger. Okay, so um, that's what that looks like. Uh, one or two more things I was thinking of doing. Let's try getting rid of of that reflection and see how we like that. And maybe just maybe selecting this and putting on in the materials plus and that black I was just thinking of doing it like that okay so 
I'm going to do another render there and see if we're just about done. So there it is. A um, couple of things to keep in mind. The image that I use as an environment texture is not a real HDRI. And so you can get some weird effects, but that might, might actually look good. And because it's not giving off as, as much light as a real HDRI, you know, you may have to set up your lights differently. You can spend more time. And I might actually want a reflection uh, there. So once again, keep in mind, you could try different effects. You'll get, a, you know, a different lighting and you get different stuff in the visor in this particular case. So I may do one more and just see how, uh, how it turns out. I'll take that one and I'll render it for you just to show you what it looks like. So that looks pretty cool as well. We've got this planet here and a little bit of stars and you can see there's sort of a bit of a reddish glow here and up here from uh, from that image. So again, it's up to you uh, what you want to do with that. So that's pretty much, I think, the end of, of that. I would probably then take a number of renders and uh, bring them in probably to PowerPoint and put together just a slide with some text. Uh, and I will show you that um, when we get to uh, the render review for this Blender challenge. That is the end of the uh, video tutorial series on the Space Helmet. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I know that I did. And we'll see you again soon.